In this tutorial, I'll show you how to automatically transcribe audio or video to text with two or more languages using 11 Labs Scribe. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, if you don't have 11 Labs, you can use the link in the description below to sign up and try this model out. Now, so you can transcribe speech to text with the world's most accurate ASR and it supports up to 99 languages. Uh, if you scroll down to the languages section, you can see all the languages supported at the time of recording this video. Uh, the word error rates do vary, uh, but it's good to you. For example, if uh, your language is Arabic, you can click on this Arabic, it brings you to this page, and you can scroll down to see the word error rate and all other uh, kind of things that you may want to see. So let's go back up to the home page. And from here, I'll just click on go to app because I'm already signed in and it's going to take me to the app. I want to use the speech to text feature here. I'll click on that. And from that, I already have an audio, uh, more or less a video. If I just double click on it. In this video, it has audio in English and audio in Kiswahili. So if I come somewhere, uh, let's say here, I decided to do the following. I got an article on uh, BBC Swahili and it's this particular article uh, on Russia and Ukraine uh, on uh, the talks that were held in Saudi Arabia. So this is in Swahili. So I went on into uh, Audacity, did the recording and you can listen. Urusi na Ukraine. Tunachojua kufikia sasa kuhusu mpango unaopendekezwa wa kusitisha mapigano. So so this video has English and Swahili audio. Let's see how uh, 11 lab scribe performs on that. So I'm going to click on transcribe files and just go and get my audio, drag and drop it right there. And then it's going to realize it's an eight minute, one second file and the size and all that. So the primary language, you can let it detect uh, because especially here we have two languages, just let it detect and I'll just click on upload files. I'm going to upload on 11 labs and the magic is going or the processing is going to begin immediately. Now, I've noticed that it's super, super fast, uh, but I'd like to see if we do get some uh, more or less uh, results of what uh, we are we are actually expecting. Multilingual transcription of our audio or an, or an audio or a video uh, with multiple languages. So uh, let's just give it a couple of seconds. And then we begin uh, the process. So the processing has already begun. As you can see, uh, there's processing here. Let's just give it a couple of seconds and it's going to be done uh, for us to kind of review uh, if it's actually transcribed the English part and the Swahili part and how it's done it. So here we go. It's done. I'll just click on this and it's going to open up. Uh, so if we come up to here, yeah, here is where I mentioned the Ukraine section. So I can click on the edit button and then use this separator here. I just click on it to split the segment. Uh, I'll just click on this segment as well. Uh, let's see, just click on this segment, it's a couple of uh, times to kind of create new segments. Now, of importance to us, I'll go back to view mode. Of importance to us is maybe starting this particular uh, video here and just play it. BBC Swahili. And it's this particular article uh, on Russia and Ukraine uh, on uh, the talks that were held in Saudi Arabia. So this is in Swahili. So I went on into uh, Audacity, did the recording, and you can listen. Urusi na Ukraine. Tunachojua kufikia sasa kuhusu mpango unaopendekezwa wa kusitisha mapigano. It's done a really good job. Uh, it's done it in English. It's done in Swahili. So I feel that it's doing a really good job, especially if you have multilingual audios. And now you can maybe have a translator work on this uh, for the translation. Maybe if you're doing subtitles and you want the translations uh, in English to also be available. But that is how you can automatically transcribe audio or video to text with multiple languages in one single file using 11 labs scribe and obviously once you're done click on export 
either to a text file, SRT, PDF, JSON, HTML, or a doc file. So that's it from me. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.